if that is the case, why don't we say, look, this is a myth. It may not be history, but it is close to our hearts. We feel very strongly about this. Padmini is an important part of the Indian imagination, just as, let's say, Ulysses of the Odyssey is to the West. But in the West, you have classical studies, you have cultural studies. Here, why are we saying, why instead of trying to prove that, let's say, plastic surgery or cars and planes existed in ancient India, why don't we just accept it's not history, but it's important to us. So एक तो हमारे बेदास को कोई देखता नहीं है वो कोई मानता नहीं है जबकि बड़े बड़े ज्ञानी विज्ञानी ये बात अब मानने को अब फोर्स हो रहे हैं कि सारा कुछ लिखा था हमारे शास्त्रों में लेकिन कोई नहीं देखता है आई वंडर वट स्क्रिप्चर्स दिस यूट्यूबर्स है ब्रेन वॉस्ट मोर in our own country refused to accept our history even rebuking the mere possibility with strongest offense against hinduism this is what the progressive west that we romanticize so much thinks about it to što obnaružili učeni može prevrnuti vse suvremenne predstavlenje ob istoriji zemlje civilizacije okazalось što v drevnoindijskih tekstah ne prosto upominaetsa neka oružje ogromne razrušiteljne mochnosti но и в подробностях описываются битвы, подобные сценам из современных фильмов о звездных войнах. Но ведь Махабхарата написано не меньше четырех тысяч лет назад. Откуда такие знания у людей, обитавших на Земле задолго до нашей эры? Какое представление о высоких технологиях могли иметь древние индийцы? И как они могли с такой точностью описать действие оружия, которое было изобретено только в 20 веке? This isn't just a simple sandbar. There's objects in here that haven't been eroded away. There are stones that have been brought from afar and set on top of our sandbar island chain. These results suggest the structure in the satellite image isn't natural, but built by humans. Some scholars believe the ancient texts refer to a time 5,000 years ago. At this point in history, Building such a long bridge would have been a superhuman achievement. Not convinced yet? This is what India's missile man, late APJ Abdul Kalam said in his book, The Ignited Minds. Ancient India was a knowledge society and a leader in many intellectual pursuits, particularly in the fields of mathematics, medicine and astronomy. It became clear that ancient Sanskrit literature is a storehouse of scientific principles and methodology, even to the extent of there being text about how to build a Viman. Subjects like physics, chemistry, medicine and Ayurveda are of course well documented. Ancient India was an advanced knowledge society. Invasions and colonial rule destroyed its institutions and robbed it of its core competence. its people have systematically degraded to lower levels of existence who would you believe now apj abdul kalam or a liberal youtuber now to answer sara jacobs question on the authenticity of indian history this is what tarun vijay had to say sorry you are very rude to the indian ethos and the indian scholarship that's you, what you, you when you are that is what you when, feel, but when you are citing the engage in a healthy debate keep your personal grudge and prejudice aside before calling our history a myth our ancestors may be right or wrong in many aspects the possibility exists but they do not need your verbal diarrhea citing the example of plastic surgery you are making fun of, of sushrut and charak you are making fun of the entire tradition of the indian medicine and the indian uh, surgeons that is on record and for you because you won't believe hindis or hinduwalas you will believe on the british and the goras there is a great reservoir of british writers who have written about the plastic surgery about sushrut about charak and about how the indian medicine was at the uh, at the, at its pinnacle when there were no cambrys and no howard so don't make fun of your own country's ethos number right. one number right. two You say Ram is a myth. You say Krishna is a myth. Why would you like to impose your viceroy's vision on the Hindus alone and make Hindus as as a part subject of the secular laboratory reforms? Hindus will not allow this. Why should we accept the mockery? A year ago, we laughed at Tarun's comment on plastic surgery during the NDTV show. Today, the Department of Surgery, Columbia University, accepts it. Why wait for the West's approval? Why do we lack the confidence in our own history whatever be the case 
do not dis the possibilities that is not how science works i believe eventually the truth and only the truth shall prevail read explore and educate like share and subscribe thank you for your time